Final round highlights from the ISPS Handle World Cup held at Royal Melbourne Golf Club in Victoria, Australia, starting off on the 15th hole. It's Hidetsu Tanahara representing Japan along with Ryu Ishikawa this week. This on the 15th from about 15 feet out for birdie. Tanahara finish off his week at two under overall in solo seven. Thailand's Kiradesh Afi Barnrat now on the second. This for birdie again from about 15 feet out. Three straight rounds of 70 to end his week at three under overall. He would finish in a tie for fifth with Ishikawa. Matt Kuchar on the sixth. Remember, he is our defending champion in the team portion of this event. He played with Gary Woodland last year and was looking to defend with Kevin Stroman. That did not happen, but he did have a fantastic shot there on the sixth. He would go on to birdie that and finish at six under overall. Adam Scott now on the first. Remember, he did not start off his week well. Started with a 4 over 75, but it doesn't matter how you start as long as you finish strong. Adam Scott looking to do that in the final round here at Royal Melbourne. Take a look at this approach into the first hole. What a way to start your final rounds. He holds out for Eagle there. A nice little congratulatory handshake from caddy Steve Williams. Adam Scott finish off at 7 under overall in solo third, helping his team win the World Cup. Thomas Bjorn now on the 11th. As he chips it up to within three feet, he would go on to tap in for birdie there. He would finish as the runner-up in the individual competition of the World Cup. Over now to Jason Day. Two titles on the line for Day. Again, playing in that team competition with Adam Scott and looking to win the individual title. Well, how about a hole out for Eagle there on the sixth? You know things are just gonna go his way on Sunday, an emotional win for Jason Day. He has not won since the 2010 HP Byron Nelson Championship has come so close so many times. And again, an emotional win for him as he played with a heavy heart, losing eight family members in the typhoon in the Philippines late last week. Jason Day able to play, though, and successfully win the World Cup for his country and take his second win of his professional career.